The mission of ABTS is to train leaders for the church and the Arab world. We get students all the way from Morocco, Mauritania this year actually, to Iraq and the east and then down to South Sudan and the Gulf region as well. Uh, our students, some of them come from very difficult context. These are people that are determined to serve Jesus and their communities and they are willing to pay the price for their discipleship. أحلامي ورؤية اللي الله دهاني في 2006 كانت تخص خدمتي فئة الأطفال والمراهقين في مناطق عشوائية اللي بيكتر فيها السحر والمخدرات والسلاح والعلاقات والجهل والفقر والمرض ويكون بيقدر يستخدمني بس أنا ما كنتش مصدقة في الرؤية دي لأن كان في أمور وهي حياتي الخاصة كانت عامية عيني عن الرؤية وقفلة وداني ان انا اقدر اكون بسمع او اقبل صوت الله ليا في الـ ABTS رجع لي رؤيتي واحلامي واهدافي اللي الله ادهاني من 2006 بعد التخرج حرجع واخدم في الكنيسة وعندي خطة ومشروع انه اعمل مدرسة صغيرة لتعليم الكتاب المقدس وبعد ذاك يعني حسب دعم الرب لي يمكن المدرسه حتكبر شويه شويه. Our residential student body is about uh, between 35 and 40 students, but we also have online programs uh, that uh, reaches further into certain countries that uh, are more difficult to reach. You know, the, the online program it has its own uh, challenges, but it's a very nice program. Like it's so applicable. To, to everything like in, in, in daily life and, and in ministry. The, the, the courses that um, uh, the seminary chose for the, for the online program, it, it's really suitable for, for, uh, for daily ministry, you know, uh, for knowledge and for application. It's nice because it's flexible, you know. We uh, started the uh, institute in about 2003. Its uh, mandate is to bring about positive transformation in thinking and practice between Christians and Muslims in the Middle East and beyond. We have three primary uh, strategic goals, education, peace building, and uh, justice advocacy. We have a master's program that uh, has students also from all over the world. Our educational mission is to uh, equip men and women to uh, carry out the, the mission of God in this part of the world. Our educational programs include a, uh, an annual conference uh, attended by uh, some of our partners uh, from all, all over the world. Up to 200 people come here the third week of June every year. We've uh, recently launched three new peace building initiatives. One of them is a youth focused uh, initiative that works with uh, young people of various faiths. This is one of the rare opportunities where Christian youth are able to talk about what they truly believe in a very non-offensive, non-aggressive way, just sharing, this is what my life looks like and this is why I do it. And um, I think there's power in that. We're trying to live out the love of God, um, what He's taught us to do, to love Him and love our neighbors as ourselves, to build friendships, and this is what we are trying to do with these young people. So we really hope that through the friendships that we create, we hope to be able to create that movement in Lebanon where we will be advocating for the poor, fighting for more justice, uh, and doing that not single-handedly, but with a, with a community and a constituency around us as well. Regionally, God is really shaking the church to come out of its survival mode mentality into serving and having prophetic voice. This is the, a very critical time in the life of the Middle East and North Africa to have leaders that are equipped, that are critical thinkers, so that they can be transformative agents for their communities. So this is very, very key time in the life of the Middle East.